Yeah, so uh, before I actually go into the sewers, I'm going to upgrade my weapon. If I can. I think I need some twink and type knife for it. Oh, uh, that's such a fail and lucky at the same time. I'm just gonna run. I'm not gonna get any more luck than that. Nah, can't save until I kill these guys. There you go, fire's better. What do I need? Put on my resistance one level. Vitality and endurance. Okay, 10 SSR. Now we're going to win. Oh, that Uh, also, the tip you can't kick with every single weapon. Some weapons um, have special moves instead. So, say my starting weapon, the uh, scimitar, it had a spinning move whenever I tried to do the kick action, which is a quick forward and light trigger. And also that leaping attack that I do occasionally, that's quick forward and uh, heavy right trigger. Yeah, heavy hit. Okay, we have nine SS Let's go kill people. This would be a good farming spot if they were worth more. 50 just doesn't cut it. No oh, dog, come up here. Okay, so in the next room we have the butcher and I think one more dog. Yep, 
gun and chest. Let's take out that dog first. Come on, dog. We can try to. Oh, that one dodgy knee. Quitcher. Oh my god, failing. I need to stop failing. Where's the dog? The dog jumped down. It's my dog. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Need to get the backstabs in. Alright, can kill the dog. One of the two. Good backstab chance. I wasn't blocked by the pole. Come on, come out this way. Ouch. Oh, come on. Let me get you on the backstab. Okay, so that's one butcher down. When you kill the second one, you get the sack that he's wearing on his head. But what we all come here for is... The Amber. Large Amber. So that will give me the chance to reinforce my weapon. Pass, plus five. Also, there's a little hole down here which will take you to a spider shield. Which, uh, when you block with the spider shield, you don't take any poison damage, which is very handy for uh, Blight Town, which is the section after this. Now, if you notice, I'm walking very slowly through this water. That ring that was in um, over the uh, the Undead Asylum, the rusted iron ring. You have that when you walk fast through this water, like normal. So it's not really important for this section to manage without it. Oh god, my sword keeps hitting the, the ceiling. Yeah, it doesn't matter for this section, but later on you're versing a Hydra boss in this sort of water and that's just painful. You got another NPC around here. Remember, never attack with your um, sword. If you cut him, it'll piss him off. And he won't help you. Yep. Go to Phalanx Shrine. He's a Pyromancer, by the way, so he'll give you Pyromancer spells. So you can be a Pyromancer as a thief or wanderer as I am. You just need to get the um, required stuff. And there's our Butcher, number two. Hey. Ouch. Next up. Oh, come on. Keep that stamina high. Get him block these attacks. So he's dead, two of uh, both are dead, so you can just suck. Ah, such an interesting thing. Should I go forward or should I go back? How much do I trust myself? Ah, oh, the sewers are just painful. Unless you're equipped. And the last and the boss of it just takes forever to kill if you don't have a weapon that's strong. So I'm gonna go back guys, I'm sorry to make it boring. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith and I'm gonna upgrade it. So if I can, I'm going to buy some arrows, which will help me um, to cheat <laughs> and kill the rat 
because there's a giant rat in the sewer. Which is well, what you'd expect for a game like this. Giant rats. And I also might be boring as well and see if I got any better choices in armor. You got arrows? Yes, you do. Awesome. I wonder if I'm geared enough to take out a Black Knight. Somehow I don't think so yet. Turn off my my targeting while I come down here. So I don't die like last time. Got the punky attack that time. And you're just free souls. Okay, so we also released the Pyromancer, so he should be down here as well now. So you got your Sorcerer. Pyromancer's over here. 